My name is Dana and I am a empowerment and confidence coach. I, I come from a nursing background, so there was a, a big transition in just identity shifts of stepping away from the biomedical approach. That alone was a massive transition to just kind of get away from an identity that I identified with for so long. And I think for people that have that fear is looking at this possibility as like, wow, look how much energy you get by doing what you love and pursuing your dreams. There are challenges, but I think there are challenges in any way. Even if you stick to a job that you don't like for the security, there will be challenges, right? So do you want the challenges and feel excited about life and what you get to do or yeah. challenges and be unhappy? That's been so liberating of just listening to my heart and listening to my inner dialogue for that. So there's no right or wrong here. It's just, yeah, having that awakening and then following the breadcrumbs. I think that's such a big thing and can make, can make such a difference. So follow your curiosity, follow what makes you happy and then being open to change. What, what did you want when you came to me or when we jump on a call together? I was intrigued just about you know, everything that you are and everything that you stand in, in your truth. And that was really appealing to me. I was on shaky ground within my confidence and self-esteem because I was doing something that was so against what I originally planned. So I was like, what is going on? Everything was just turned up. Okay, cool. I need to step back into this confident person that I have been in the past. And, you know, your, yeah, everything that you were was really speaking to me about, um, just embodying that full power and standing in your feminine. There's these qualities that I really admire about you that I want to embody again, you know? But yeah, with the confidence, because I think you and I have the confidence in our title and it's supporting people. Not that they're not confident, but sometimes it's just that extra confidence or that confidence in a different area. It could be career, it could be relationships, like love, could be finances. So mm -hmm. there's so much to confidence that we, I love the way that you share. And for this particular situation, you wanted to tap back into that most confident self, the yeah. most confident version that you, you know you have in you and you just need a little bit of help and support. And that's why it's so amazing to work with a mentor and a coach. And did you feel any fear, you know, when you said yes? How was that for you? How was that process? That was such a process in, in like my own beliefs in myself, because I feel that, you know, there was that big transition of actually investing in myself and the, the value with that. I think that it is a scarcity mindset that I had identified with that I didn't actually realize. And only until this year have I really stood into, I don't even put a price on investing in myself like my expansion and my val and the value that I get from doing that you can't put that on a price and I feel that that has been the biggest change for me because when I said yes and I was like I'm in I'm, I'm doing this there was those that little voice of like oh gosh you know but it was like no I'm gonna make it work because this is my growth and this is my expansion and now I honestly don't even you know, think about anything with that, because if I'm getting so much growth from it, then that's, that's so, that's the value. And that's the, my biggest investment.